Right, part two, tram line from Papatoy, which we're at now, out to Mono out to Monaco City Centre. Hopefully, we've also a bus ride out there as well from Rickerton to the city centre. And in part three, we'll do the metro and some local bus rides around this area. Let's do this. So we're in Papatoy using our um, tram roads. And of course the European theme set is set on this time. AT Metro bus. And of course, active modes as always. So again, using the European things, as a whole uh, lower, uh, lower building parts, and the international but the dense international part. by the end of the there, but there you go. There you go. Again, all the cyclists. Default speed limit outside of the arterial roads is either 30 or 40 kilometers an hour. The big arterials are set to 60. Oop, AT double decker. We are close to a major interchange. And the old case of waiting at traffic lights. Ha ha. And there are the lights. Ooh. Not waiting for the lights. Now we'll make our way out and out to the city centre.
So the method I usually like to build my cities is a transit-oriented approach. Get the infrastructure down and build around it, rather than try and build and then get the infrastructure retrofitted through that because it becomes very hard. As you can see, they use it from day one. Do we still get congestion? Of course we do, it's a city. But is it manageable with, with true options available? Of course. And out we go. Oop, there's a hearse. Ooh, that's a fair whack. You can notice the ambient noise that was dropping too. How many getting on? It's quite a few actually. Let's quickly change this over. Another 80 metro bus. Right, up to the city. You notice the ambient no noise level drops away. Cities are noisy. Right, out to the city centre we go. Bit of tram sausage on the other side. That's a fair few, and I'm currently got my biggest trams on too. 184. That's because I'm opposite a school, and I think school's out as well, so it is going to get naturally busy. We're now crossing the motorway. And now approaching the city centre. The university to the left, the latest development to the right. Got the cyclists. I'll be wanting to check that bus out across the way. I think that might be overrun. Right, approaching the city centre. Ooh, pack and safe truck. Okay. University to the left, city centre to the right. Ah. 
Right, now we're going back down to course New Zealand Post Office. Now we're going back down to course Spine, commercial and civic infrastructure to the left, resident uh, to the right, residential to the left. Again, you can hear the ambient noise is picked up again. Actually, there's one set of trams I haven't mentioned, is that's the one that just runs around the city centre itself, which takes you through the two, two sub-districts, the civic and the residential. We'll see how it goes. My dad would do that as a bonus. And we're joined tonight by Juno the Cat. There's the main interchange train station interchange up there with the trams, buses, and metro. Or well, one set of metro uh, trams. Uh, I have changed radio stations. We're now on Radio Hawk, which comes with the train station's DLC content pack. Oh, she's me. <coughs> Pardon me. Now we're on the other side. So it's study hall to the left. <coughs> Palace to the right. How are we looking at passenger wise car? 102. Uh, basically, we'll be heading back out onto the main road. There were red lights, the trams weren't paying attention to those. Now we're heading back towards Papatai. So we'll do a quick metro run and then that concludes part two. Yes, I do chop and change it, it's just depending on what routes need my attention quickly. But part three will be the buses and the inner city um, tram loops. Just ignore that yellow light.
when that particular bus stop's going to struggle. So I might have to upgrade the buses to the big 135 bendies. Especially if that bus turns left. Oh, the little personalized scooters. Nope, oh, garbage truck. So the district to the left is known as the Bend. Now I've got the organic poly, uh, organic and self-sustaining policies on. So for residential, they're built from sustainable materials and self-sufficient. And on the organics and uh, the commercial side, it's organic produce. Da 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 da. I'll show show you when we jump over to the metro, on what I mean. No, when I do the buses for that, which will be in part three. Again, a lot of walking. And that tram ain't giving a crap. Just go on through. Post brought to you by DHL. Right, we're back over to Papatai again. And again, you can hear the ambient noise cranking right back up. I think it also might be rush hour two in the game. And again, that brings us into Papatai. So we'll take a run on the metro. Now, part of the metro is underground, so the renderings will be a bit... Oh, look, there's a train ready to go starting at the Origin Station. And as usual... Oh, it's Monday evening. Do we have an event on? Yeah, Grand Library. So this interchange always gets backed up a bit. Okay, which way is he going? So he's changing his load. Bus is making way in to pick up their evening passengers. Is he waiting for one to clear out, is he? This is a very busy interchange. Yep, there we go. So we're going to run the metro there and back. So this metro is elevated, ground and underground. Eden Project to my left.
So this area was the first part of the city I built, so this is the oldest area. But this connects all the way out to the airport and back now. Whereas before it was just a three station line, now it's multiple stations over a lot, going about two thirds across the city. It was a busy. Now the reason why for the delays is, is to stop the bunching. So I've got the aggression set quite high, and this stops them bunching up. Running along these tree-lined streets at an elevator room, this is so beautiful. The sun's going down, so we're going to have night time for part three. Now we're coming up to a big major metropolitan center. See the transport interchange just briefly to the right there. So we are on a metro rail system, which is grade separated, but it is not the same as heavy rail. Which, if I was doing heavy rail for this game, for this particular city, would be stations would be further apart, and they also take freight. Metro does not. So as I said, uh, the aggression, vehicle distancing aggression is quite um, is on normal, which is quite hard, and that just keeps the that keeps the especially for rail keeps the trains quite far apart. Although I can get them closer, I can have them on quite close headways. I've just gone over the motorway. The, you'll notice that the architecture's changed. It's now it's a mixture of international and European. The reason why those two stations are quite short apart is we actually just travelled over a motorway between two metropolitan centres. And so they, this also, as well as the buses that are on the left of this particular station, they act as, this acts as a high volume shuttle. Away we go again. You can see the buses to the left there. And of course the city either side. of an S bend in there. So with this station you got the two platforms either side and two express tracks in the middle. I don't usually run express trains with metros but we do have dead running where MD trains could be zipping through to take up their position.
most common if I've adjusted the if I've having to increase frequencies. Now I think this is the last on the old city side, and we're now going to be heading towards the city centre. Yep, because we're about to cross the river. You can see the city centre there. Now we are going to drop underground for a moment, so the, because I don't use Metro Overhaul mod, the renderings aren't there. City Centre. Also coming into night time. So we're now heading to the main plaza station, which is multiple lines crisscrossing. As you can see, it's an open plaza. I forget it's one, two, three, four lines underneath this one plus this one and one to the left so four six potentially six well you could actually double that if you're terminating up to 12 lines can be using this so double that up Right, we should be coming back above ground. Uh, no, we remain underground until we cross the river. Square packages. The packaging specialists are proud to present. Because I. On both your houses. The untold story of the invention of the box. And the family rivalry that made it. And then we come back up again. On the other side of the rail line. Finding acceptance. And inventing the most efficient means of shipping and packaging that mankind has ever known. Proving that to find what's in your soul. Now to the airport. We'll do the run back to get the night views. Oh, it's an intercity train coming in on the other side. A lot of traffic. Oh, that. Of course, there'll be a lot of traffic. And the city trains just come in. They'll always generate traffic. It's backtracking, too. Right, we're just going to be underground again briefly. 
So we just quickly do the airport. back and that will stop that one. It's a slightly longer video but the nighttime runs are worth it. Yeah of course here the aircraft. waiting for the oh, there we go now back to the Papatoe metro station see all the rail units is hard at work when we put them to the next station I'll quickly change the tracks over radio stations I should say That is a lot. Three hundred thirty. Yeah. So the normal capacity on the normal vanilla trains is one hundred and eighty. Lucky I've got the big ones, which are eight hundred and ten, nine hundred passengers. Because it means I can use bigger rolling stock for the same amount of services otherwise I would literally have to triple if not quadruple the services congesting the lines pretty badly city centre ahead looks like another intercity train coming along Night time, and you can see the aurora above. Plaza Station. Ooh, that's a lot. So if you want to know what the Plaza Station looks like, 402. Ooh, look at all the people! Oh, that is a lot so the city center again I usually have a saying my nighttime services are more busier than the daytime services and you just saw that I was actually come back out until we start moving it but look at all the people moving and look at all the transit It's just a lot of people moving. Not bad for midnight. Alright, back above ground we go for the rest of the truck. basically where we've got to get to is over there so we do basically a one big 180 
across the river. But a drop, I need to slip till to iron that out. Okay, we'll be waiting a little bit because we've just had a train pull out. So we'll be waiting. Hopefully don't have to wait too much longer. Right, we want to know what the surrounding area looks like. This is what it is. So we're in Rickerton South at the moment. Approaching Rickerton. So Rickerton and the Rickerton Metropolitan Centre. Whoa. Okay, that is lots. Three sixty six because there'll probably be shuttle running between the two centres with Mana Rewa centre interchange just there. But you can see yeah. Rickerton there. And Manarewa over here. So yeah, it's in between two and it's the reason why we've got two interchanges so close together, is there's a motorway there. So that's why. As I said when we were going the other way, this between Rickett and Monterey could be high shut a high volume shuttle points. You can see there's the motor um where we're just back there, we've now crossed into another interchange. traffic underneath this is a transport interchange underneath One more station to go after this one, and that will conclude part two.
Ah, uh, the aggressions. There we go. Uh, big major transport interchange to the left again. And that concludes that little run. Alright, this concludes part two. Part three will be riding the buses and the inner city tram line. So, have fun everyone, and we will be back for more. Don't forget I stream at twitch.com com slash palpatine 001 wednesday's variety thursday's city skylines more at the blog at benscities.blog <laughs>